I wanted to make a quick video to explain why object-oriented programming is so useful for software engineering, data science, and particularly running deep learning experiments. So this code repository is titled PyTorch CFAR. Uh, from this author, uh, who, uh, you know, this is my code, I'm just kind of explaining how this project uses object-oriented programming. So the main idea of object-oriented programming is that you have objects that have functions and attributes. So particularly what that means for our deep learning experiments is that we define these, we define our neural networks as classes or objects. So we have our ResNet object and within our ResNet we have our constructor initializer where we define our layers and then we have our function which is a forward pass through the model where it takes the input x and then produces the output vector in this case named out. And then we have this uh, function where we construct ResNet 18 using this class and then using these constructor arguments using the basic block and then you know extra parameters about the way to construct the filter maps in our neural network architecture. So here's how object-oriented programming plays into deep learning experiments. So in this models folder we've defined our ResNet and now we go to main.py where we've written the training logic for CIFAR 10 and PyTorch we have our data augmentation, we have loading the data set and batching it, and then we have down here our training loop where we you know, run the loss, the output, the optimizer. But see how here we, we just define our network as net equals ResNet 18. We don't have that basic block, bottleneck, bottleneck block, all that boilerplate code to really construct the ResNet in this folder. What we've done is we've done from models import star, and the code that defines the ResNet lives in this models folder. And then we have additional utils folder for, say, visualizing things, uh, doing miscellaneous uh, things that are useful, like the mean and standard deviation for the data augmentation with the CIFAR 10 data set. So it's defined in this utils.py folder. So this is why object-oriented programming is useful. It organizes our code. It makes it much more readable for fellow programmers. And the big thing is it makes it easy to just swipe out different models compared to, say, if you had it all written in a Jupyter notebook. So compared to object-oriented programming, here's the other way of doing this. The other way of doing this would be, say, having some ridiculously messy <laughs> Jupyter notebook where you have just a ton of code that's kind of written sequentially. So even the this is the um, Google Collab interface, and they have some modern touches on it that make it easier to use like you have this double hashtag nesting where we can nest this thing and make it even more readable but overall it doesn't have the same modularity and recomposition ability that you have when you define your folders in this way and then import the classes and objects so hopefully this video was a uh, good motivation using these Jupyter notebooks you know it's intuitive and it is nice but as you start doing large scale projects, like as what I was trying to do in this example, it eventually, there's just so much code that it becomes really hard to organize and wrap your head around. So in that case, the object oriented uh, programming style makes it just so much easier to organize. So I hope that this maybe it motivates you to have a look at this and it'll probably save you a headache down the road when you're trying to organize large projects.